Hello and welcome to another GIMP tutorial. Um, I think this is part 6 in the Vector Art tutorial series, um, but I'm beginning to lose count a bit. Um, this is drawing to a close this series. Um, this isn't the last one now, but what I'm going to be doing over the next couple of uh, tutorials is just looking at a few quick tips just to get certain effects that you might have seen in various um, vector art pieces and whenever I see a particularly nice um, effect in a vector art piece then I might you know add more quick tips to it but essentially all of the basics all of the paths um, use of you know shortcut keys and the fillers and the rest of it, all that stuff's pretty standard so um, what we're going to look at today is the kind of silhouette grass effect now if you remember the vector land video that I pointed you towards in the very first tutorial in this series at one point um, the guy that made that vector art turned um, a black kind of solid shape into something that looked a bit like a kind of wispy grassy hill um, very very simply um, just by adding this kind of silhouette of grass so today we're just going to very quickly look at that effect so the first thing we're going to need is a black mound so I'm just going to draw this black mound using the paths tool um, because that's what vector art's all about these days, I guess. So, just something a little bit like that. That'll do. And then I'll just close off my selection, control and click. Then, if I press Shift and V, that will turn that selection, uh, that path into a selection. And then, if I press Control and uh, comma, we fill it in with the foreground color. So there, we've got some very very quick. Um, things to do just to create this kind of uh, sort of black hillscape. Okay, the next thing we're going to do, um, you need to select your smudge tool and you want a nice circle brush, um, quite a small one, um, depending on obviously the size of your image, but um, you want a fairly small brush and you want to set the rate up to about 93, 94, 95 depends on the length of the grass that you want really um, but then all we're going to do very simply if we just kind of smudge like this you'll see we get this kind of um, we just get these little bits these little wispy bits just kind of shoot out now this is actually something that um, the other youtuber um, Ravs000 I can't quite remember his name or something like that um, he actually used this effect in his video it was kind of bugging me how he did it for a while to be honest but um, it's pretty simple once you see it um, and all you're going to do is literally just you know cover as much of the area that you want with this kind of grass with that now obviously this is all fairly uniform at the moment so if you wanted to uh, make it you know a little bit more interesting then you could change the length of some of the bits of grass just by turning up the strength of the smudge tool a little bit or alternatively you could oh, um, yeah, you, don't, you never want to turn it up to 100 by the way I did that earlier and it looks rubbish uh, or you might just want some little small ones um, but yeah I mean that's it I mean that's really all this tip is going to show you um, it is just a quick tip and um, I think from now on most of the vector art tutorials will be of this nature just something very quick just to give you an idea of how to achieve a very particular look and then um, hopefully you can apply that to your own vector art Anyway, I hope you found this um, useful. I hope you've uh, learned something from this. And um, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.